Brian Winnikins, uh, we are at uh, Commodity Classic, and thank you to our Commodity Classic uh, sponsors, and they include Alcivia Co-op, Wisconsin Farmers Union, Animal Wellness Center of Buffalo Valley, and Osteoplastics. We're in the Novozymes booth. Jason Ward from Novozymes uh, joins us. Scott Chopper is our Novozymes uh, distributor in western Wisconsin and eastern Minnesota. And uh, Jason, thank you for joining us uh, today. Well, first, for those who don't know anything about Novozymes, Who's Novozymes? Yes, Novozymes is a global leader when it comes to uh, microbes and enzymes, whether that's household or for our purposes here, agriculture. You also do stuff for household, really? Yeah, so if you have Tide and you can now wash with Tide in cold water and do as well as warm water, the enzymes in Tide, most a lot of those are sourced from Novozymes. Wow, I, I, we learned something new today. Okay, so what are some of the things that Novozymes is doing here for 2022 for farmers, especially in, in western Wisconsin? We have, and, and eastern Minnesota, we have a lot of different types of soils. I mean, we have the, we go from sand to clay to sand and clay in the same field to a mix of both everywhere. Yeah, so for 2022, two exciting things. First, we've brought on 11 new territory managers to provide better service to our distributors, our retailers, and, and farmers in, in, in Wisconsin and in Minnesota. So that's first, bringing on a new team to provide additional support and services. Second, we brought, we've introduced 14 newer returning products this year. An example of one of those for soybean growers in Wisconsin and Minnesota is Optimize FXC. Uh, we have a brand Optimize. We've, we've found a way to make that better so that when farmers have their seed treated for, with inoculants and Optimize FXC, they can get another bushel more per acre with Optimize FXC versus Optimize. For corn growers, what are some of the things that Novozymes does to help them out? Uh, we have two new products coming, soon to be registered by the EPA. Uh, we're expecting our registration April 29th, so that's going to be right on the edge of some for planting or, or, or growing, two new products, uh, Torque IF and Ratchet. Both of those are, are signaling compounds, which signal the plant to grow bigger and better root systems. So we're looking at an end of April registration. Torque IF would be an in or soil application. So we might miss that window for application, but Ratchet is a foliar applied application of that. So, so corn growers in Wisconsin, Minnesota could look forward to the product Ratchet. Okay, so, and that's that's uh, coming up here this year. Now, what about farther down the road? I, how do you how do you come up with? I guess for those again, we we don't know how how do you develop these enzymes as we hear a train going by, which is kind of cool. Well, we hear the train coming. So uh, so what we do at Novozymes is we, we take 13 percent of our revenue and reinvest it into research and development. And our two focus areas moving forward for research and development in Novozymes for agriculture, one is biocontrol. How can we use enzymes and microbes to con better control disease and insects? So that's one focus. The other focus is on nutrient efficiency. How can we use enzymes and microbes to replace to be a partial replacement for synthetic fertilizers, focusing on nitrogen and phosphorus. So those are our two focus elements over the next, say, uh, five to 10 years. Now the nitrogen one, that is, that is one that I know in, in Western Wisconsin, we have, it, we have some issues with groundwater quality with nitrogen that's potentially leaching and, and that sort of thing and getting into water wells. And to be able to make corn kind of be like nitrate fixing, like alfalfa is that that's kind of like something that we're actually working on some farmers are doing some test plots on that but they need those microbes to make that happen don't they yeah so there are actually in the soil today wild type microbes that help affix nitrogen from from the air and what we at Novozymes are doing, we're, we're looking at those wild types and then how can we further improve those wild types? Because today, those wild types will do that in, in kind of an, a low nitrogen environment. But when there's nitrogen there, they tend to shut off. And how can we look at those wild types and adjust those wild type through a selection process so that when nitrogen is there, that, that they still help a fix. So instead of, so, so what that might mean in the future is, is reducing your nitrogen need by anywhere from 25 to 50 pounds per acre. Some fascinating stuff. Uh, well, Jason, again, we appreciate you joining us. And again, if you'd like more information on uh, Novozymes as well and how they can help your farm farmers, you can talk with uh, Scott Chopper. He's our Novozymes dealer uh, that, uh, and representative here in western Wisconsin and eastern Minnesota. We're at Commodity Classic. I'm Brian Winnikins.